Welcome to New Earth Activations with Raina. I'm just going to go straight into a meditation and activation and then see what happens afterwards. Or lie down, have a little bit of feeling comfortable. Palms facing up. Focus deeply on your breathing. Breathe long and slow. Very deep breath into your body. Visualize a candle flame in your mind's eye. And we'll begin.
and enjoy the rest of your day. Remember, it's important to drink plenty of water, have a shower, spend lots of time in nature, and ground yourself. I wanted to do things a little differently today, but as you can hear, it's thundering. And the helicopters were flying by, so I didn't do it. When you do these meditations, how much are you able to notice? How much were you able to see? How much were you able to feel? How much were you able to hear? This is important while you're doing this. I share this with you because today in my meditation, what happened was I seen a man interfere in my meditation. A man I never seen before. Don't even know who they are. And I felt that was an intrusion. Because they showed up uninvited. Unannounced. and did not have my consent. This is why it's really important to stay on top of these because you don't know how long it's going to take you to get to that level. And as much as I am on top of these sessions with my own guide, and being present here, putting these up spontaneously daily for you. And something like that happens today. imagine how I felt. Even so, say you had an emotional upset because of it, or you started lashing out on the pillow, it's good to release that, but clean it up as well. question, who are they, and where did it come from, I immediately went into other sessions after that.
these sessions have found you, consider it a blessing because there are a lot of us doing this work that are on top of it and have been committed to it. every day and just by that alone that should tell you how serious this is how important it is for you to keep going and keep loving yourself sit through these meditations, these activations, notice, be more aware of what you see, feel, hear, and allow in these meditations. If you have constant chatter going off in your head, all the more reason to be here. If you have no control over your emotions, all the more reason to be here. If you're overly dramatic, all the more reason to be here. This is not a joke. These are people that are doing this who have been through it. And they've been through it to be on top of it, to know when there's something there that shouldn't be. And where is it coming from? I know where it's coming from. Because if it was an intrusion, an invasion, uninvited, unannounced, and did not have my consent, that was deliberate. But I was on top of it. To have seen that. And I don't take things like that lightly. It doesn't belong there, it needs to be removed. which is exactly what I did. Maybe I should have put that better. I'm sorry. In order to be free, completely free, it's best to stay on top of these sessions. And 
I've said before, just because you have money doesn't mean you're free. If you've never done anything spiritual, if you've never done any energy work, if you've never tried to raise your vibration, all the more reason for you to stay committed and on top of this daily. And you can hear by the tone of my voice how serious I am. And you only hear this by people that have been through it. So they know. One thing you need to know about me is that once the, the, this work chose me, I didn't choose it. Once I began, I did not stop. I did not take a day off. I did not have a vacation. Once I stepped into this, no matter what was, what I had or didn't have, I stayed on top of it and committed to it around the clock. Now that might be too much for some, but for me it was extremely important. It's not like I could have taken a day off or had a vacation. And another thing, when you hear people talking about destiny, your de destiny belongs to you and no one else. No one has a right to take it from you, not with any means. And there are those out there that have methods that um, go against the free will of others. Your destiny belongs to you and you alone and nobody can steal it from you what belongs to you. Others are too, some, if, they're, if they choose not to do this work or they're too lazy, they're not entitled to your destiny or make up stories about you so that they can take everything from you. Lies, truth, and slander, and trying to steal other people's destiny on top of it, all while going against their free will. And then you get everyone else on the bandwagon to join you. Hmm. Take this seriously. I know I did, because when I began, I didn't even know what I was doing. I didn't know anyone doing it, couldn't even talk to anybody. And being alone 
is probably the best thing for you. Because then you can think for yourself and not be pushed into things because others are pressuring you. And take as long as you need. It's imperative, it's important. It's urgent that you do that. You can hear it thundering. I hope I'm not saying too much. I just thought it was important to share and just be honest. do another video later differently the way I would thought about doing yesterday is what I heard or what I heard to do yesterday um, just that I had a different day planned and I wasn't even supposed to be here. I had planned on being somewhere else, but I'm still here. Have a great day. And if you have any questions, email me at LAIA DHABSBORG at gmail.com. And I will see you next time.